Well, hello everybody, it is Sai here for Unravel and Unwind Patreon, and this is another edition of Plan With Me. So today, um, it's, it's looming ever closer, the moving into the new rose gold binder, and uh, one of the things that I haven't done yet is the monthly spread for June. Now, these come pre-printed, um, not pre-printed, they're downloads. I downloaded this um, from a lady's video on YouTube. Hopefully I can find the link for you. Um, this file is, uh, it fits the A4, and then you just have to trim it down to fit the slim A5 size. You cut it in half, and then you, you trim it down. So I've got one of these for each month, and now it's kind of time to make it slightly less boring looking. So um, I'm going to take it out of the binder real quick. And I'm going to set it aside and show you what I'm going to do with it. So I am going to use Distress Ink today. I really love Distress Ink. It's, it's fun. It's a nice way to add color and um, I've got three colors here that I want to add. So the first one is tiny. I don't think you can see this. It's called Worn Lipstick and it's a mini. And this is a great way to amass a collection of different colors of ink um, because they're obviously, they're, they're so much smaller than the, the big pads. And you can ink anything with it because this, the ink pad is raised. So if you have a stamp, for instance, that's this big, you can just do that and apply the ink to the surface of the stamp if you're stamping. Now, Distress Ink really sings when you use the direct-to-paper technique, um, which just involves no stamps at all, and it gives you a lovely little sort of cloudy background effect. But this is a very useful calendar. I'm going to be writing in it, so I don't think I really want to ink all of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to employ post-it notes to mask off areas that I don't want to ink. So I'm going to be writing the month in here. Um, I don't know how the Distress Ink is going to react with my penning. So I think I would like to keep this on the ink. So the first thing I'm going to do is line this bit up like this. And this bit up like this. Now I don't, I don't go precision cutting any of my masks. I just, I just overlap things. And later on, when I come to ink this side, I'll just move it. You know, it's it's not, you know, we're labor saving here because my sort of ethos on planning is that. While I like to add visual interest, my focus really is on the functionality. I don't want to spend my whole life making something pretty, um, you know, and sacrifice A, my planning time to actually use it, and B, uh, time to do what I'm planning to do. So, you know, it's, it's, it would be counterproductive for me to make this into a masterpiece. So let's just get started. Now, this is the uh, proprietary uh, blending tool that you can use to blend the ink. Now, um, I'm going to start with, well, we'll start with a little bit of the pink. Okay, now this is, um, as you can see, a hook and loop fastening thing, and this is the crunchy side of it. That's what I call it, it's the crunchy side. Um, you can attach, um, you can attach felt to this. You can attach um, whatever you want, but um, I did buy a little packet of these proprietary spongy things. So I'm going to stick one of those on, and hopefully that is going to work well. Now, do not press that in there, because what that's going to do, it's going to suck all the ink up into this sponge, and you're going to waste it. So please don't do that rub it on the ink pad like this tickle it don't squeeze it right gently 
Now this is, uh, as I've told you before about this wonderful card, and I'm being sarcastic, I don't like it. Um, it, it's, it is slightly coated, but the good thing about that right now is that it is going to allow this ink to slide around. It makes a terrible squeaking noise. Oh. And that's the door. One minute, please. And by the magic of television, I am back. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that if I started to do a video or something like that, that the door would go. Normally, I wait until there's no possibility of delivery people coming. And by then, it's too late and I'm tired and I go to bed. And that's why I don't have many videos. So it's a necessary evil. You didn't notice the time passing, but I sure did. Okay. Yes, I've got three things in the mail and I want to open them, but they're my day. This is diary time. So I am applying the distress ink and I like to kind of, I like to do multiple colors. So what I want to do is just apply this onto sections, but not too much. But Sai, I hear you ask, what about contamination? Yeah, it's a real thing. The colors will get contaminated. So guess what? I'm going to use something else for another color because I'm smart like that. So this is a common household makeup sponge and I've used it already. So uh, I have to do a little surgery to make it good as new. And there it is. So it's not magic, but it's pretty darn close. So now I'm going to dip into the tea dye colored ink here. And uh, that's not a very good cut, you know, I don't like it. Okay, never mind. Again, light touch. Do not squeeze. Okay, now I'm going to put that very lightly here. And I'm going to overlap my other color just a little bit because I'm sure they'll blend nicely into each other because I thought about that when I was choosing my colors. I'm lying to you. I did not. Um, so here we go. Little blendy, blendy. This is fun. Um, <laughs> so, you know, hold on to your hats. Uh, Right, the suspense is killing me. Um, okay, let's add a third color. And let's grab another sponge. Um, little packs of assorted sponges can be found anywhere uh, and very cheaply. So that's what I'm using. I'm just using from the pound shop little sponges. All right, let's use the side. I want to use the side of the sponges. I think that might be fun. Okay, a little bit of green. Now, when you are using a masked area like this, it is good to start on the mask and go outward. Um, if you do this, you risk peeling it up that way. And you don't want that to happen because you're going to lose your beautiful clean line. So I'm going to continue here with the green. Um, it's looking a bit stripey, I'm not going to lie. Not happy with it really, but let's have faith. Uh, a lot of art goes through an ugly phase before it gets better. And the, uh, the coating I hate so much on this paper is actually doing me favors right now. So mustn't complain. So as you can see, we've got a lovely clean edge here. And yes, I am going to want to get that middle part covered as well. So let's reposition the sticky notes. And they are starting to curl up a little bit. So that direction that I spoke of before is vital. All right, where's the blending tool? Because I'm going to go back to the pink just a little bit. Because over here, 
at the bottom, you can see that there is pink. Um, I know the color seems a bit washed out. Well, it does for me anyway on the monitor. So I don't know what it's looking like for you. Um, ooh, do you know what? I almost made a faux pas. You saw me, right? Okay. Let's get some more post-it notes. You can never have too many of these lying around, and they don't have to be particularly good ones. Um, in fact, unless they're too sticky, and the cheaper ones can be too sticky, um, that's the only thing you've really got to watch out for. Um, but yeah, you can go cheap because you don't, you don't need these to be, you don't have to buy the brand name one. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to make much of a difference. So, and for the price, so, there, I'm just going to add a little bit of that one to keep the flow. And then, um, it appears to go back to sort of a little bit of this one. So let's get that one back and we'll do a little bit of this. And sorry, did I cover that up? But it's, it's that, that color anyway. What color are we using? Tea dye for that. And then I am going to go back and put a little bit of the green here. This green, I think, is called, yep, peeled paint. Um, these are lovely, lovely inks. I, they're my favorite. They really are. Um, so there we go. That line is now there. And this can come up. Like that. And uh, they're not too damaged. I'm just going to Put them together again and stick them aside because I can use them again for the next page. And let's peel that up and move it. I love office supplies, don't you? So fun. Okay. Yay. Another one down the middle. Yeah, my mind is totally on what came in the mail. Just saying. Not that I don't love you guys, but mail. Um, whoa, that's that is wow, that's green. And I'm making a mess. Um, if you wanted to be a tidy human being, um, I'm disgusting, so I'm not. But if you want to be a tidy person, you could like put something there. You know, <laughs> I, I don't mind because. I'm only using one side of this paper, so I'm, I'm really not that concerned about getting any ink residue on the back, which I will do with this because uh, it's got what it's got what's called a long open time, um, which basically just means I use this for the green. What have I done? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So I I dipped the wrong sponge in the wrong color. And it's just all okay, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So, um, this is done now, la, 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 la. and there we have one panel done, and then we basically do the same thing to the other one. So, this one's gonna be easier because there is only one section instead of this one that had two sections. So. so sticking it on straight when it's a long sticky bit. See that's a pain. Um when you're doing this, if you are a perfectionist and don't be, but if you are um and you are masking an area off that has a line, go on the inside of the line so that your ink will hit the line. So that you won't have like a little white sliver where it's been masked um if that kind of thing bothers you um right i'm gonna go back to this i i, I really do like this round one so, uh, i don't like what it looks like fresh off the sponge let's 
think um, it needs to be spread and blended um, a lot. So, there we go. Then I will get rid of that and I'll get this one out. And then I'll get the actual sponge I'm supposed to be using for that color out. And I will start over here. Oh, look at that. It's blending into the green because there's green on the other side. <laughs> I am winning at this. Okay. <laughs> Get it back to brown, kind of. All right, now this is not where I want the mask to end. Um, let me just get down here a little bit with this. The reason that it picks up darker on this paper is because it's not coated and it's more absorbent. So if you're wondering, that's why. Um, also, interestingly enough, you can see some ghosting here. And what that is, um, it's from the cutting plate that I ran this paper through because you reuse cutting plates over and over again and it tends to leave a mark. Um, this is why I don't like this cardstock because it, it really is um, overemphasizing my error. Um, so that's all right though it's all the the point of distress ink is to lend a a sort of grungy appearance i don't i don't know anybody who does clean designs with this stuff um let's go here and do that and then this one we flip over and I'm going to go back to the pink on the outside for the most part, I think, just so that it kind of mirrors the other one. That's going to go over, but you know what? I don't care. Why? Because I'm not a perfectionist. Hey! Empty perfectionism for the win. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Squeak. Do you like a bit, a bit of squeak, a bit of bubble, a bit of squeak. I will just blend that over the edge a little bit, see what happens. Um, and then I will go in with a little more of the brune, the uh, tea dye. because I am going to go back and do that again. Um, so I'm going to just whisk a whisper of tea dye onto it. And then we'll go back. Gosh, I need another hand. Uh, and just a, the, uh, that one. A whisper of green. Whisper, whisper, whisper. You can be as heavy handed and squishy with the, the sponge as you like because you weren't when you picked the ink up, but it it will probably suck some of the ink in. But by that time, you've got what you wanted to use onto the paper, so it's not an issue. Okay, so ink applied, let's reveal. So lovely. So fabulous. All right. So this is going to be my June monthly layout. And uh, I have already made a mess of it. Um, this, <laughs> this is an amazing, <laughs> this paper, you're going to hear me going on about this paper till I run out of it. Basically, it's, it's coated. And if you've touched the paper, the oil from your fingerprints is going to displace the distress ink. Um, and you may take some of it with you, like I did, and it's going to end up on the paper. So this is not an exact science. It never is with distress, but 
<sighs> anyway, so uh, that is sort of one of the more artsy things that I was planning to do with my planner. Um, I, I'm not sure that I would sort of batch do this um, because of because of the um, the way that I mask off the useful areas of the page. Um, it would be entirely possible to start using a layout like this and add the color later, as long as you stay in the lines and use a pen that doesn't react badly to your distress ink. And if you are using lots of different inks and lots of different surfaces, test, test, test. I know you've heard that before, World Health Organization, uh, but it is really a, a very good rule of thumb to go by. So. This is going to be my June layout. Um, let's see. Now, normally I would I would probably brush script June in there, but I don't have my brush pens with me today. They are in the car. I keep a lot of my plan with me stuff in the car because there was no point in moving it. You know, it was always in the car. I could bring it out when I was going to run a workshop at Intra. Um, those days are temporarily gone, I'd have to say. So um, I'm going to use this and I'm also going to use this when I'm writing on it because I don't want my greasy hand to disrupt this wonderful ink. So um, at the moment when I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cover it up. Um, I do like to, to use, you know, fancier writing if it's a header or a title or anything like that so i don't know what do i do like that um that's a j uh <laughs> yes it's a j um might fill it in yeah it's a little bit thin you might do something like that um this is a uh uni pin fine line pigment pen um, i like to use pigment pens um you can't really have a heavy hand with a, a pigment pen um not really sure what i'm doing here but um, the common name for this uh, is is messing it up. No, the common name for this is folligraphy. It's it's uh, where you draw in the parts of the letter that should be thicker, and then you 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 sort of double line it and then color it in. It's not my favorite thing. I like how the brush lets it just happen. Um, And my spacing is going to be all over the place, but what can you do? I'm just being fun. Look how big that N is compared to the... <laughs> Oh dear, day in the life of me, huh? I'm also really not used to this. What size is this? Uh, it's an A. And because of the lighting, it's okay. You know what? A poor, it's it's a poor carpenter who blames his tools. I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Now, I love these pens, but I think I've used them to death and I need new ones. Um, so yeah, this this looks really bad. <laughs> Maybe if I just make this a bit more decorative like that, it might even things out. I don't know. And the other thing about this is I'm going to have to leave this to dry. Um, it, this, this ink is still ready to be worked and added to. It's, it is sitting there. It is thirsty. It wants input. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you what input it wants. Uh, let me grab 
I need a paper towel. Da -da -da -da, do I have one? I don't have one. Hmm. I did. I had a whole roll that go right here. I'm so prepared for this. Okay, but you know what? I'm gonna I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Okay, so I'm taking some drinking water here, uh, pouring it into my hand. And I'm just gonna throw some water at this. Hopefully it's getting there. Um have I done this before? Have I shown you this before? Um, I need some cloth or something, anything, anything. All right, okay, I'm gonna pull this off camera just for a second because I'm using my own shirt to blot this water off. All the magic, okay? Right, so most of the water I threw ended up somewhere else, but can you see? that where the water spatters have gone. Oh, it's still wet, hold on. Yeah, I just take my shirt here. Looks like, okay. Yeah, so where the water spatters have gone, the ink is ready to just react with that water and uh, come straight back off the page. So you can make a little bit of a starry night effect there with just drinking water and your hand just splatting it like that. That's, uh, that's one of the cool things that you can do with distressed ink. And uh, I think it adds uh, a further aged element to it. So that's cool. Um, let's see, what else can we do? What else can we do? This is wet now. Um, <laughs> what can we do? Ah, oh, June. Well, June is, is known for sunshine. So maybe I'll just like put a little sunshine on it i mean i don't know this is this is the fun thing though you can sort of i don't know is it what is it what is june on lockdown <laughs> tv <laughs> tv crochet no um but june you know it's it's lemonades right it's lemonade here we go right there with like maybe a little yeah like like a little, I don't know, little line drawing there. That looks nothing like a lemon slice. What am I doing? Okay, but there it is. That's, yeah. Let's see, all right, lemonade. I, I think of lemonade in the summer, which is crazy because, like, I haven't had a proper lemonade in years. What else is summertime? Beach ball? That's gonna, it's gonna look like a basketball. Watch <laughs> Have faith in your artistic abilities, people. Um, yeah, that stinks already. Okay, there we go. It's not even round, but there it is. That's a beach ball. And then we've got like, I don't know. What else? What else we got in the summertime? I'll just put another sunshine up here, maybe. Like that. Like that, I don't know, sunshine, uh, ice lolly, maybe, maybe ice lolly, I don't know. Yeah, let's have a, um, here, it's um, asymmetric, and <laughs> here we go, here look, it's a fab lolly, yay, this one's got spots on it, hundreds and thousands, right? I don't know, I don't know, it's an ice lolly. Um, and I don't know what else, what, what else is in the summer? What else is in the summer? Beach. We'll just have like a little, like water thing. I don't know, here on the side, like, yeah. The beach, uh, maybe a little like. Beach umbrella, maybe? A little beach umbrella. And like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like a fish? Maybe we can like have a little fish. <laughs> maybe a smiley face? A fish. 
above the sun. Yeah, because that's fun. Uh, okay, so yeah, you can fill your little monthly bar there with with the uh, rubbish, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So um, that is, uh, I think that'll do for today. What do you think? No, no, actually, don't tell me. Um, yeah, tell me. Do you like this kind of thing? Um, do you want to see more of it? Um, please don't ever do this again. What, whatever your thoughts, uh, just stick them in the comments section, and I promise I'll read them. And I will see you in about a week's time for another exciting episode of Plan With Me from Unravel and Unwind. I've been Sai, and I've had a good time, and uh, let's see what happens next week. Bye, everybody.